Supreme Court has now ordered that the new Chief Minister of Karnataka, B.S. Yedirapa, face a floaters as soon as possible. And that's why they've given time till tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Remember, this happened after the Congress challenged the appointment of B.S. Yadirappa and the invitation to him by Governor Vajubhai Wala uh, saying that he did not command the support of a majority of the MLAs, that he had only 104 MLAs, and that's why it was short of the majority mark. They had claimed that the uh, JDS and the Congress uh, with 116 MLAs were comfortably over the majority mark. Supreme Court gave an interim order saying that they would go into the decision-making process of the governor later. What they were saying was what's needed is an immediate floor test to see who has the majority and that's why it's now going to be held tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock and already uh, the, the assembly has decided to convene at 11 a.m. when they will be sworn in. They've also now got a pro tem speaker. The pro tem speaker will be officiating the entire proceedings. It was said to be someone who would be the senior most. Until now, it was sent, meant to be R.V. Deshpande, an eight-time Congress MLA, but they've gone with the BJP's KG. Uh, Bopaya. Uh, Maya Sharma joins us for more on that. Uh, Maya, in such a high stakes game where so much is at stake, even who is going to be a pro tem speaker uh, becomes very, very significant. What does this mean now that there will be a BJP MLA who has been appointed pro tem speaker? Well, of course, Sunetra, in an ideal world, a speaker is a neutral person, but it is, in fact, usually the ruling party who selects the speaker. It was anticipated that, according to procedure, it would be the senior-most MLA, in this case, Arvi Deshpande, industry minister in the Siddharamaya cabinet, who has been an eight-time MLA from his district, who would, in fact, be selected as pro tem speaker. That was the general expectation. But it has, in fact, been decided that it would be K.G. Bopaya, a former speaker himself, who will be the pro tem speaker. It's still not quite clear if by his being pro tem speaker, it actually means that he will also preside over the actual trust vote or whether he will just be there for the swearing in of the MLAs, because of course the swearing in of all of the 222 MLAs who were elected My will also have to be done before the trust vote can happen. And okay. that will be the procedure that will start from tomorrow morning at the Vidhana Saudha. Well, well, actually the Supreme Court said that uh, the floor test can be held uh, by the pro tem speaker. So th that's cleared by Supreme Court. Well, in that case, it would also be seen, initially there were concerns by both sides that if they had a speaker from that party, would that mean that they would lose the speaker's vote? That's but right. as my colleague Vaidyanathan has been saying, the, in the case of a tie, in the case of an exact same number of votes, then the pro tem speaker would be allowed to cast, cast his vote in favor of the side that he won.